to a 2015 Nissan Altima. Let's add a key, so this key works. And we're gonna be adding this one in, does it work. So I'm just gonna lock this one for now. I got my J-Box all set up, established by OBD and Bluetooth connection. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go to Emo. Let's choose manual selection. We're gonna go North American. Let's do Altima Sedan. It's gonna be a 2015. And go mobilize the smart system. Let it scan. Mobilize the remote control learning and when performing key registration. So, all small keys lost. Whenever you're working on a Nissan Infinity vehicles, you won't find the add key function. Once you go into programming mode, you have to introduce all keys, even the original working keys. So, go ahead, all small keys lost. Okay, ignition switch on lock has the switches on, so I'll imagine she switches on. Vehicle in park, good battery voltage, steering on. Okay, now for the lock. Continue. Okay, so let's press and hold the stop button until the cluster lights up. So I'm just going to press and hold it. So our cluster's on. So the current status of the ignition is. is on. We'll click OK. So turn the ignition off. We'll just press it one time. Get ready to register each key. We'll show it up to the stop button. We'll start with the original key first. Okay, so start the key registration preparation. Operate according to the following procedures. Press the stop button once and the button will flash. Contact the logo of the small key to the start stop button. So pretty much what it's saying is we're going to start with the original key. We're going to bring it out to the stop button, press it one time. As we press it, we're going to keep the key here so it registers to the system. If the key is correct, we should see five flashes on the immobilizer light. So I'll go ahead and press it. And it pops up. The immobilizer light blinks five times. So this key was accepted. That's the working original key. So then it says step two, turn ignition off. Let's turn it off. We press OK. So one key has been registered. So to register an additional key, touch add. Go blank two and press add. Okay, same thing for the new key. We'll press the stop on, and if the key is right, we should get five flashes. So press it, hold it here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And step two, turn ignition off. So that's our second key. We press OK. Okay, complete the registration, just click next. So two keys are registered, next. So use all the registered keys to perform the following procedure to press the stop button. So now we're gonna close out the learning mode. So what I'm gonna do is take the first key we showed it, I'm gonna press the stop button with it, and we should get a buzzer to indicate that we're closing out the programming mode. So I'll press it. So that means we showed it a key that's already presented. Press okay. Now just zoom in here, when I press the stop button to close out, you'll see key registration complete. Key registration is complete. So the procedure is done, I close my hazards, I could back out of here, exit. And I just like to disconnect my programmer before testing the remotes, so I'll unplug that. Here's our original key, here's our new key. And we'll start it with the new one. And good to go. That's adding a smart key on a 2015 Nissan Altima with the IM608.